So if you're into 3D or prop character design, or maybe you just want to play with procedural nodes, today we do have a good number of interesting brand new Blender add-ons and also tutorials that you probably missed. These are pretty interesting ones that you can actually get your hands on and start learning and also start creating with. And for those who would like to find more about this, you can simply go over to the link in the description where we've listed this out. And with that said, let's dive right into it. And if you're into product rendering or product design, then you might want to consider taking a look at Quick Studio. Quick Studio from Alexander is an amazing tool which simply allows you to create different kinds of studio lighting with a single click. This powerful and easy to use multifunctional tool allows you to create studios with an array of multiple light sources like pavilions, global light, dust, and also a couple of interesting features to bring that scene to life. This has currently been updated to version 3.1, which now comes with over 30 custom big studio lighting presets that you can work with. These are fully optimized for both EV and cycles, and at the same time, if you're thinking about adding a couple of effects to fine tune your scene, then you can simply go ahead and grab it. The properties are currently available for both the light, the material, and also the final output. So if you're into lighting and probably you're looking for an add-on that has all of its properties in one place that comes with a couple of interesting procedural presets that you can work with, then you might want to consider taking a look at Quick Studio. And here's a powerful asset bundle I believe you guys should definitely check out, and that is the editing building asset pack from Simmer. This comes with 212 building assets, which you can use to create that interesting city that you've always wanted to make, as this consists of 50 high detailed buildings all the way to 162 modular assets that you can tweak to your heart content. And these are asset browser compatible, which means you can simply drag and drop into your viewport and get going with it. To all of the buildings that you get, there are shaders for them and you can control the shaders and create very realistic looking environments. Sime has also created a lot of other interesting things which deals with courses that takes you step by step on creating different kinds of scenes and all of these courses their assets are also available so you can follow up with them. So if you're just looking for a place where you can get a ton of asset pack from neon sign asset pack all the way to photo scan stones down to the brand new editing building pack, all of these are currently available and they would help you create that cinematic scene that you've always wanted to make. So for those who are interested in any of these or probably you'd like to check them out, then you can simply go over to CMS page where you can find all of these goodies right here for you. And if you're thinking about starting out creating characters in Blender, then you might want to consider taking a look at Rig, which is a Blender character rigging playbook by the folks at CG Cookie. They've actually taken a lot of time to put this together, as this actually gets you up and running with all of the technicalities that you need in terms of creating rigs, as this will teach you why and how different things happen behind the scene, and at the end, you would be able to master how to create the rigs for yourself. So if you're into rigging, or probably you just want to get started with rigging, then you might want to consider taking a look at this course, where you can learn lots of things. It's quite impressive to see that they've also got the fundamentals of rigging which is currently available. The folks at CG Cookie also have this beautiful course called the Human Realistic Portrait Creation in Blender. This is one of the best courses for those who are thinking about creating realistic characters in Blender from modeling all the way to sculpting, shading, lighting and finally rendering. All of these characters are done 100% in Blender and this is also another interesting course that they have. And if you ever wanted to create procedural ropes, chains, wires, or anything that simply spans from one place to another, then the DJH Strands, a geometry node library that consists of all of these things that you're looking for that you can use to create literally anything you want. As this comes with 20 modifiers which you can work with, and these are roughly broken down into four major categories, as they include places which are responsible for creating things and connecting points, and these include creating stuff like power lines, fences, and all that. There's also filters which are used for adding effects, and this effect includes sagging, smoothness, and also waviness. And with these filters, you can add and remove details as you choose. The appenders are the third category of the modifiers, and this adds additional strands to the primary strand that you've created. And finally, the meshes, just like the name implies, simply allows you create your final meshes. So you can use these to create meshes for both chains, braids, ropes, and also fuzzy ropes as well. These also have a good number of presets that you can work with, and these presets are currently available for you to also grab and start working with. And these are fully procedural stuff which you get you going if you're into creating strands or probably you're looking for a procedural tool to start creating strands with. 
So over the past few weeks, we've talked about the folks at Lazy 3D, the fact that they've created an amazing set of tools that you can use for vegetation and also the brand new Fauna Sketcher, which is also another impressive tool that they've made. So for those who haven't seen this, this is a very interesting procedural tool that can allow you to create simulation of birds, butterflies, bees, swamps, and all that. At the same time, they've also created the one-click realism tool, which is also another one that we've mentioned on the channel before, which looks super cool. But something that they've actually done, and I think this is in respect to the current sales that is going on, is they've actually bundled a few things. The first one is the Lazy 3D Bundle Physical Add-on, which they're doing a full 35% off on, and this is also on sale, just in case you want to grab that. And again, if you take a look right here, you'd also notice that they've bundled the Ultimate Bundle, which seems to comprise of every single thing that they have. So they've actually put this one up and it is doing a full 25% off. So just in case you like to get this, this is currently available and it comes with a ton of things. So instead of purchasing these add-ons one after the other, you do have all of these and you can simply drop them and start working with them. The folks at Lazy 3D have consistently created very cool stuff and it is quite impressive to see that they are also doing a whole lot of discount for most of the stuff that they have on their storefront. So for those who like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this now, especially while offer last. Locomotion from Edwin Webby is a powerful Blender add-on which is designed to bring dynamic, lifelike motions to your Blender project. And these consist of different kinds of things that you can create. So contrary to most crowd tools, which basically deals with crowd, and of course we're going to talk about some of them soon, or maybe simulation tools that simply deals with creating simulations, this is more like an all-in-one tool that kind of deals with a lot of things at the same time, as it features a couple of interesting presets for creating crowd systems on parts, crowd systems on surfaces, insect on paths, insect flying around objects, and simple car traffic system. This is a very simple and easy to use tool which just simply allows you to create simulations easily. So if you're looking for that one tool which you can use to create traffic, crowd, and also create that dynamic swamp simulation, then Locomotion from Edwin Webby is a very cool tool that you should check out. But then if you're looking for specific crowd tools, then the procedural crowd tool is an interesting one. This tool alongside the population tool from the folks at B Production are amazing crowd tools that you can simply work with and if you're specifically looking for crowd tools then these tools are definitely ones i would suggest you get but then if you're looking for swarm simulation tools then i would suggest that you take a look at geoswarm as this deals with a lot of things and of course it comes with a huge set of features and a good number of behavior presets that you can get additionally the instant swarm is also another interesting procedural one which you can use for creating swarms very similar to what you've got with geoswarm and the same thing can also be said for the previously mentioned fauna sketcher so just in case you're looking for swarm Swamp tools, then these are currently available and you can simply go ahead and check this out. And if you're just thinking about simulating liquid filling up an object, then liquid fill is definitely one that I would suggest that you see. Liquid fill is a beautiful tool which just simply allows you to create any object and then you can fill that object up with any liquid of choice. And this includes a multitude of drinks that you can work with. We already made a full video where we covered how you can get started with this. And this is literally a one-click tool to get you going. From asset to procedural shaders that you can work with, all the way to working with your own custom models, this is a very interesting tool for you. So whenever you think about creating liquids, filling up an object, then you might want to consider taking a look at liquid fill and see what you can get. Alongside these, there's also a set of interesting one-click add-on tools that are also going to be in the description, just in case you're looking for stuff that can get you going with a simple click and of course, which is made to be super convenient and super easy for you to start creating with. And here's a pretty cool add-on from the folks at Blender Procedural that allows you to generate real-time soft body simulation. Now the idea behind this add-on is to simulate any kind of deformation from vehicles to vegetation and create realistic destruction visual effects easily as this automatically generates amateurs for you to start creating and has an instant ragdoll creation set of tools which are pretty impressive. This tool is currently available for those who are thinking about creating very quick and rapid simulations directly on their viewport without expanding so much resources. More so, the folks at Blender Procedural also have a a couple of interesting stuff that you might want to consider taking a look at and all of these are fully procedural add-ons that can just help make your life super easy and of course for those who like to see all of these and probably you like to see some beautiful alternatives that you can work with then links to these will be in the description so do well to check them out and here's a few honorable mentions for this week. For those who are into vehicles and probably you like to create your own vehicles in Blender, then you might want to consider taking a look at 3D cars inside out from the folks at CG Master, as this simply covers all of the basics down to the final finishing of how you can create your own vehicles in Blender. 
So this is an amazing course. I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and see it if you're into vehicle creation. And for those who are into motion graphics, then you might want to consider taking a look at Docket 3D's Introduction to Motion Graphics course for Blender. This is also another amazing course that you might want to consider looking at. And if you simply go over to Docket 3D's page, you'll also find a couple of other interesting courses that he has. 3D Tutor also has a couple of interesting Blender courses that would just get you started with geometry nodes. Most of the courses from 3D Tutor definitely deals with geometry nodes. So if geometry nodes is your thing, then probably you're trying to get a hang of it and you're wondering how to get started with it, 3D Tutor is your guy as it simply has literally every single thing that you'll be needing to learn most of the things you might want to get started with in geometry nodes. So if you're into geometry nodes or probably you're looking at exploring that, then 3D Tutor has something for you. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this ones in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.